Today we're going to be talking about Ozempic, the new weight loss craze. So Ozempic is a once weekly injectable medication. It's emerged as a popular solution for individuals struggling with weight management. And this is a revolutionary GLP-1 agonist, not only aids in weight loss, but also offers promising improvements in metabolic health, making it a highly sought after treatment option. So what is Ozempic? And what is the mechanism of action? So Ozempic is, as I mentioned, it's semaglutide. Once weekly injectable medication belongs to the class of drugs known as a glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1 agonist, primarily used for the treatment of type, 1, type 2 diabetes and more recently for weight management. The mechanism of action is that Ozempic works by mimicking the action of the GLP-1 hormone which is naturally produced by the body. It stimulates insulin production, suppresses glucagon secretion, and slows gastric emptying, leading to a feeling of fullness and reduced appetite. So this latest research on the Ozempic's efficacy for weight loss. The recent clinical trials have demonstrated that impressive weight loss potential of Ozempic. So participants experienced an average weight loss of 15 kilograms, or about 30, almost 34 pounds, with 68% of patients achieving significant weight reduction, Notably, 23% of study subjects exceeded 20% total body weight loss, and 77% were able to reach the clinically relevant 10% weight loss target. So potential benefits of Ozempic for weight management. We have improved metabolic health. Ozempic has been shown to not only aid in weight loss, but also improve markers of metabolic health, such as blood sugar control and cholesterol levels. And clinical trials have demonstrated that patients can maintain significant weight loss with continued Ozempic treatment, making it an effective long-term solution. And this can lead to substantial weight loss, improved metabolic health, can lead to increased mobility, energy levels, and overall quality of life for Ozempic users. Now, with any medication, there are potential risks and concerns, and so let's talk about those. Potential for weight regain. A recent study found that some patients experienced weight regain up to two-thirds of their initial weight that they had lost after discontinuing Ozempic. So it's highlighting the need for long-term management. And there is a concern that this also causes this rapid weight loss from Ozempic could lead to a loss of muscle mass, which could negatively impact overall health and metabolism as well. And this is something fun. If you want to Google this, you pull up a bunch of celebrities. If you want to Google Ozempic face. So let's talk about this phenomenon. So while Ozempic's demonstrated impressive weight loss results, there's this concerning side effect uh, called Ozempic face. So some users have reported a hollowing of the or a gaunt facial appearance, kind of a sagging or sunken, sunkenness to their face. Uh, it looks, makes them look more aged. Um, so you can find quite a few celebrities who they show like a before and after. It's kind of interesting. So this side effect is believed to be linked to the rapid weight loss induced by the medication. And researchers are you know, still looking into this to try to uh, mitigate some of these strategies. I've even heard of some, med some patients already pursuing uh, plastic surgeons uh, to, to help with this because so, this can have a significant impact on patient self-esteem and quality of life, as you can imagine. So let's talk about other potential risks and contraindications of Ozempic. So, Ozempic does may cause uh, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation, especially in the start of treatment. These are some of the more common side effects that patients uh, complain about. And there is a risk of pancreatitis, um, an increased risk of pancreatitis. So especially acute pancreatitis associated with GLP-1 agonists, and patients should be monitored by their healthcare provider for this. Many patients that experience this may have an increase in an in a, um, enzyme called lipase that they may fall that the healthcare provider can follow and, and see if this is an issue. So contraindications not recommended for patients with a personal or family history of medullary thyroid carcinoma or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. So those are just some examples of, of uh, diseases that they you'd want to avoid this medication. So some potential criticisms and concerns surrounding this Ozempic. So there's endocrinologists that are, are stating that they have serious concerns highlighting the potential long-term risks of rapid weight loss from Ozempic, such as the muscle mass, as we talked about, and metabolic impacts. Uh, Peer-reviewed research studies raised concern about some increased risk of pancreatitis, as I mentioned, emphasizing you know, this need that you need to be closely monitored by your healthcare provider. And also that the there needs to be a very strict uh, patient selection process going through this to be able to, you know, how we pick patients that we would put on this medication. Now let's talk about the comparison to other weight loss medications. So 
Ozempic is effective. It has demonstrated superior weight loss results compared to other commonly prescribed medications like metformin and Orlistat. However, it's something to always be aware of that whenever these medications are brought to the market, they do have to go through very strict uh, regulations, but it's something to be aware of that the uh, pharmaceutical companies often have a hand in producing the clinical trials because they have to show their efficacy. So obviously the step one trial that we talked about earlier has ties to the uh, company that made, the, the pharmaceutical company that produces Ozempic. So take from that what you will. Uh, dosing, unlike daily pills, Ozempic is a once weekly injectable offering greater convenience and potentially improving adherence as other medications. And safety profile, while Ozempic has some unique side effects like Ozempic faces we talked about, it generally is favorable safety profile compared to older weight loss medications. So considerations for prescribing and patient selection. First, we want to have an individualized approach and prescribers should carefully evaluate each patient's medical history, comorbidities, weight loss goals to determine suitability for Ozempic and especially those things that patients, uh, you know, we always want to try first line uh, treatment for weight loss is exercise, healthy diet. Um, also, we want to have a shared decision making with these patients and, and discussions. They need to be having the uh, discussion of potential benefits, risks, and even alternative options. And monitoring and follow up. These are patients who certainly, uh, this is not something that is a, you know, one magic pill that, that cures obesity. It's something that needs to be monitored closely. And also with patient education so that they can be aware of the side effects and be looking out for those. Let's wrap up with the future of Ozempic and weight loss treatment. So while Ozempic and other new weight loss medications show promising results, healthcare providers have raised co some concerns about potential long-term risks, such as the rapid weight loss that we've discussed, leading to muscle loss and metabolic changes. And research has also highlighted increased risk of digestive issues, pancreatitis, which emphasizes the need for close monitoring and, and uh, patient selection. As these treatments grow in popularity and more data, it really is needed to fully understand their safety and appropriate use, and providers must carefully evaluate each patient's needs and, and weigh the benefits against the risks when considering Ozempic or other weight loss options. So ongoing research and vigilant monitoring will be crucial in shaping the future of these innovative yet complex weight management approaches. Let us know in the comments down below if you or anyone you know has tried Ozempic or other similar weight loss medications, if, you, if it's worked for you or if you've experienced negative side effects. And uh, thanks for watching Think Medicine, you guys.